Hey guys, Steph Davies here. Uh, pardon the noise. I am at a coffee shop busting out um, some work while the girls are at school and at home. And it's been on my list to uh, bring some value and share my perspective and my process for creating vision boards. So I'm going to make this quick so that you can get to vision board creating. But vision boards are not fluff. They are so important. They are the map for where you're going. No matter what it is that you're focusing on, what type of business you're trying to grow, what you're trying to improve, vision boards are going to serve you and give you that map and make whatever hard stuff you face on your way to achieving them worth it, right? They say when our why is big, we will endure any how. So when the reason for working and showing up and working out, saving, when, when those reasons are big enough and we see them daily and they become part of our subconscious mind, um, stuff's starts to come true. The hard work becomes worth it. You start to see more opportunities to make these things happen. And our brain doesn't know the difference between being excited about something and it actually coming true. Think about when you plan a vacation. It's so much fun to plan. You're envisioning the trip. Boom. You're enjoying yourself as, almost as much as when you're sitting on that warm sandy beach, right? So make your vision so clear that your fears become irrelevant. You've got to have a reason for hard shit and change to be worth it. I love in the 12 week year, um, if you haven't listened to it or read it, you should, no matter what you're doing in your life or what you're striving for. Um, but they talk about the emotional cycle of change. That the first step, we're really optimistic and excited about where we're going in life. Um, we see only the positive. And in the second step, we start to see the negative. We get into what it actually looks like in the real hard work. We start to have these views of, oh, was it that bad before? Do I really need to make this change? And the deal breaker, the fork in the road is vision. Vision. If your vision is clear, you will persevere and, and you'll push through that limit, that barrier that was trying to, to take you back to your old ways and you'll bust through to a new level. So vision is key for anywhere that you're going in life. Um, and so I want to show you guys really quickly how you can set up a vision board so that you can get to manifesting and creating the things in your life that you want. So I use a website called pickmonkey.com. There's a free option. I think I pay $4.99 a month for the upgraded option. There's another um, site called Canva, C-A-N-B-A.com. Uh, you can also use a simple collaging app in your phone. Uh, I like to use Diptic, D-I-P-T-I-C. Um, and I put the pictures in there, make a fun collage and then I'll put it into an app called word swag to add words I believe vision boards need to be very specific so here's my my we'll call it five-step process and hopefully I have five steps I didn't think that part out go in your phone open up a note make a list brain dump all of the things you want. What do you want in your personal life, in your family, with your friends, in your relationships, with your finances, with your body, with your health? Just brain dump all of the things that you want. It needs to encompass everything because the you being the best you in every area of your life is going to serve whatever business you are trying to grow, right? So I made this list. Then hop onto Pinterest. If you don't have a specific image that coordinates with that goal, if it, you know, if you have a picture of your kids or your husband or whatever, and you have goals that correlate with those, then use those. Um, but if you need an image, say you want to save a down payment for a house, I go into Pinterest. I look up, um, maybe I look up mid-century ranch because that's the kind of house I'm into, and I can put that picture that resonates with me and. And then I'm going to put some words on it and say specifically what my goal is. Save $100,000 for a down payment, whatever it is, a certain goal date, have a house by Christmas. Um, so Pinterest is my friend for, for pulling the images that then correspond with the goals that I have because I'm a very visual person and obviously a vision board um, needs to be visually appealing. So pickmonkey.com, you're on Pinterest looking for images and then here's what you're going to do. So um, once you're on pick monkey, you're going to hit design, uh, or no, yeah, design here and then blank canvas. It was taking a while to load. So I already pulled this one up. And so now you're here with this blank template. So, um, if you go over to this butterfly, this is where it's going to let you add your own images. So, um, there's some fun little backgrounds. If you guys scroll down here, um, I like the little cork board myself because it kind of looks like a kind of looks like a, a vision board. That's the one. Let's see if it'll 
stretch to be the background. But you can do, you can mess around. There's like brick. I don't know where that, uh, usually I use a little cork board looking one, but this will work for now. Uh, so I've got a little background. You can just make it a plain color, whatever floats your boat um, and gets you excited. So let's do this. And I'm going to scroll back up to the top and click add your own. And so save those images from Pinterest, go into where you have stuff saved and let me just pull up a picture really quick as an example. Hopefully it'll be appropriate. Let's see here. I think I had my vision board stuff on here. Vision board bathroom. So you guys will see my vision board um, included a, a bathroom remodel. Uh, whoops, just had a mind of its own. So we'll see. Here's my wallpaper inspiration. So we'll use this. So get your photo on there. Um, it'll let you resize it. So let's say I want to move this over here. And then what you're going to do from there is go over to this T and you can add text. And sorry, it's a little slow with where I'm at. Just click add text. And you know, let's say I really want to wallpaper the hallway. Let's do something a little bit bigger than this on our vision board, but I'm just going to use this as an example to show you guys how to do this. So, um, you can resize it this way. So I'm just going to throw it on there. So I see the picture. I resonate with that. And then I also see, uh, you know, specifically what it was I wanted to do with that. So that's literally, I'm going to go back to the butterfly, go back to add my own for my computer. Um, I'm going to add another picture, uh, vision board yoga. So I'm going to resize it. And so just pick pictures that you're like, Fuck yeah, this is this gets me excited. So I'm gonna go back to text. What is it about yoga? Be really specific. Two to three classes a week. Right? Can you feel me, moms? How great would that be? Right? So I'm gonna put that on there. I like to, you know, resize it so I can see what's going on so I don't forget. So you guys, I'll show you my finished product uh, when I finished my vision board, um, but here's the deal. I printed this out. It's on the background of my computer. It's in my bathroom. It's in my workout room, and it's in my office, and I see it every single day. So let me see here if I stop my share. Hi, there's my face. Um, I'm going to show you guys my background really quick, but I need to move all of this stuff out of the way because... You would see what the inside of my brain looks like, and it's a mess. Um, desktop, share screen. So still a little bit of a mess because I've got all these random icons, but you guys can get the deal, right? Strength in my meditation practice. I've got stuff about fashion and feeling good, stuff about my body, stuff about next step in my business. I also picked a word for the year. My word is ease. I want to live with ease, love with ease, lead with ease, create with ease, and earn with ease. I've got food, kitchen remodel, bathroom remodel. Uh, you can't see up here, but you know I've got stuff about growing with my spouse, goals for you know my relationship with my children, goals to get them to sleep in their bedroom by a certain time each day. Um, so. Whatever it is you want, that's what we're going to put on there. So um, if you end up doing a vision board, I would love to see it. I hope this was helpful. Don't wait. Stop what you're doing. Stop your to-do list on whatever business it is that you're building and create some vision so you know where you're going and you know why it's worth it. This is so creepy, guys. I made this vision board at the beginning of this year, and within one day, it started coming true. The next day after I woke up, I was tagged in something about sleep training and got my girls in the same room that week, uh, which was on my vision board. So don't underestimate the power of that vision and get to it. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Um, get to creating those visions and manifesting the dream life for yourself. So I will see you guys later. Bye.